In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the home button on your iPhone 3G or 3GS. Recommended tools are a tweezers, a pick, I have a metal pick, and a screwdriver. It's best to use a magnetic screwdriver when you deal with small screws. Also, you need a new home button. And if you have a Red Bull, it's handy. First step is remove the two screws on the bottom of the phone. Using your tweezers, you want to put the the tip of the tweezers inside the the two holes. When you put this in, there's going to be two metal pieces. One metal piece is for the bezel, the outer bezel. You want to go underneath that one. There's another little hole that you want to push up. And see when you push up, the screen comes up. After that, you want to remove the LCD. and the screen cable. Gently pull out the proximity cable. After we do that, we want to remove the LCD. And the last screw is usually on top, but I don't have it in. <clears throat> After removing all the screws, we want to pull this LCD out. And instead of just pulling it out or trying to bend this, let's just stick something in on the side. It'll give it a little gap and make it a lot easier to pull out. So take off the glass nice and clean. Use a pick tool. Since this glass isn't cracked, I still want to save it. So I'm going to try to be as careful as I can to smoothly go across all the glass. After taking off the glass, here's the problem, it's the home button. <clears throat> Usually on the, black, on the back, there's going to be some black tape. But since this phone has been repaired before, there's no black tape. So we can just slide it out. After sliding out the old home button, I'm going to take the new one and slide it through this hole. When you think it's in place, test it with your finger. I'm not getting a click. Let's look on the back. Make sure that it's in the center of this metal piece right here. See some of the adhesives in the way. Now I'm getting that click, so I'm in the right spot. For the back, if you don't have the black tape, try to put it on onto some of the old adhesive. putting on the on the glass again what we want to do start off on top line it up and press firmly 
on the back end close to the home button is where it's most important. You want to push this in the back with our fingers and forward to make this flush with the button. I've seen a lot of people that they have a large gap in this area. If there's a gap in this area, <clears throat> it could be from the button is in the wrong spot or maybe the glass that you just have is, is cut wrong. But most cases it's, it's that problem is that it's not touching the metal in the back. So even if you repair it, it's still not going to work. So we're getting a good click and everything's in there. Now let's just make the glass nice and flush. Press all around it. You don't want to bend the frame too much. After touching it for the past five minutes, let's clean off some of those fingerprints. Use a tissue and just wipe all the fingerprints off. Next, we want to put on the LCD. Slide it in. Make sure that all the holes match. Then, time to put in all the screws. two on this side and three on the other side After those are nice flush, the last screw is going to be right here on top. After we got that in nice, take our phone. First, I want to put in the proximity cable. Slide the clip glass cable underneath the LCD cable to hold it just so it doesn't get in the way when we're putting in this proximity cable slide it in as easy as you can slide it in all the way to the white line so the white line matches that plastic piece then next press in the glass after the glass pressing the LCD. Push the front all the way as far as you can. We don't want any gaps in there. Right, it looks like it's nice and flush. Last thing that we want to do is put in the two bottom screws. And there we go, we have a nice working home button.